and just created these little, um, uh, supposed to be like bolts or maybe even rivets on this uh, object. They're simply just cylinders. I'll go in x ray so you can see this. That I've uh, had go up through the uh, top of this uh, little white panel that we have on our guitar. And that's it. And the other thing I did was change the body color. And for these, I just simply copied and pasted them very quickly. Uh, I thought I'd go ahead and save some video time because that's pretty quick and easy to do. So after that, um, we have the neck here pretty much uh, shaped up the way we're going to want. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit three out so it's smoother so I can just take a look at it. It looks pretty good. So I want to go ahead to shading and x-ray. And I can see I got these little metal rivets going across here. And I'm going to create those by going to polygons and just creating a small cube. I'm going to go to the top view now. And I'm simply going to move this into position. Hit R to scale. And I'm going to scale it down this way for the size of the actual rivet um, uh, that's actually going to be. And then I'll just stretch it out this way. Like so. Alright, and then I'll go to the front view, and simply move it straight up. Top view, and I'm going to do this a little bit slow, so that we can really get uh, the effect of what I'm going for here. So back to front view, move it up so it's piercing through the top, right like so. Right, and I'm just going to do all of these here. So they're just sort of piercing through the top of that object. Alright, we'll go ahead and copy and paste another one. Top view, W, and then move it into position. Front view, move it up accordingly. Top view, control C, control V, move it into position. Front view, move it correspondingly. Top view, move it over. Top view, or sorry, front view, move it accordingly. And I'm just going to do this all the way down the neck. Alright, and here I have all of them completely built. As you can see, some of them need a little bit of adjusting. And it's as simple as selecting it and moving over to the next one and just adjusting it to where it's just showing through. Again, these don't have to be perfect as they're not going to be even smoothed on this model because you'll never be up close enough to see them. Uh, but if you did want to smooth them, you would need to apply uh, subdivision edges um, or it would look really, really weird. Okay, and that there will finish that up. All right. And after each and every step, we're starting to look more and more like a guitar here. Alright, with that done, I'll go ahead and uh, conclude this lesson. In the next lesson, we'll go ahead and pick up where we left off.